This is Stacy Reed with Butterscotch.com, and welcome to the Sweet Stuff Web Watch. Many of the most popular sites on the internet today offer mobile versions so that people can retrieve their content from web-enabled cell phones. But some sites don't, and their content can sometimes be slow to load and hard to read in mobile browsers. Well, this week we'll be talking about ways to turn any site mobile so you can take the entire internet with you wherever you go. We'll start out here at Squeezer.com, but generally these sites all do the same thing. They cut out the extras, like backgrounds and some of the ads and images, serving up a trimmed-down version of the website. I'm just going to enter 2 cows URL here, and Squeezer's going to do its thing. As you can see, all of 2 cows main content is here, but it's formatted in a way that's easy to read within a smaller mobile-sized browser. You won't be using as much bandwidth because all of the extras are removed, which makes it that much easier to stay within your provider's monthly data limitations. Now, let's visit Mauser.com and enter in the 2 cows URL again. The main difference between all of these sites is really just a matter of formatting, and quite honestly, it all comes down to your personal preference. The folks over at Google also offer a way to make websites compatible with mobile browsers. You can find it at google.com slash gwt slash n. We're just going to enter the 2 cows URL here once again, click Go, and as you can see, Google quickly converts the page nicely and even breaks down the content into multiple pages for us. Next up, Instapaper Mobilizer. This site uses Instapaper's text engine to transform web pages, but some sites just aren't supported here. So to show you the result page, I'll insert the URL for allrecipes.com. It's all neat and tidy with the elements of the page stacked vertically. Now, just to prove that there's more than one way to skin a cat, let's stop by Dapper, where we can create an RSS feed, among many other formats, from any content on the web. Now, an RSS feed can be read on most mobile devices through the built-in browser or a third-party application. Dapper acts like a proxy, and it caches content for 10 minutes, so every time you check the feed, the content will be updated. Furthermore, you have the ability to choose exactly which pages and which content from those pages gets added to the feed. This provides a more personalized approach, but it does require some pre-planning and a little legwork, so it's probably not so great if you're on the fly. You may want to take a little time out to test each of these resources before you bookmark your favorite in your mobile browser. That wraps things up for this week. I'm Stacy Reed, signing out. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. Looking for a cheap and easy way to unify your blogs and social network profiles? Stand out from the crowd with a domain name from Hover.com. Get your 10% discount by visiting Hover.com slash sweetstuff.